I've been working with Alex just once on, on purpose, uh, just so we don't really know each other. And I have this idea of creating a series which is sort of fun yet educational of how to be a Tai Chi master and uh, show the tricks of the trade. How, to, how do you be impressive? Well, Alex wasn't cooperating the first time we met. In fact, if you just, uh, Alex has Qigong, and he was standing in his Qigong posture, and without asking, without rehearsing anything, I just started to push his hands, and he was just very gently folded. So I was saying to myself, well, this is not going to uh, work to be, uh, this is not going to work in terms of me being impressive to show by Fa Jing. Mm -hmm. Because if I push him, uh, he'll fold. Mm -hmm. Or if I just charge in, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be violent. Mm -hmm. just, and that's not Tai Chi either. Right. So I had to begin my talk therapy. And this is what you see with a lot of the teachers out there. They're basically talking the way the students into a certain type of suggestion. Mm -hmm. And the more they talk, the more the student gets indoctrinated into their way of doing things and feeling things. So I asked Alex to just turn inward and feel the way you do in Qigong. But in addition to what he was doing, to begin to load up his hand, because when I push him, I, I want resistance. Beyond that, I asked him to connect his hands with his feet so that there'll be connectivity, right, within the whole body. And this is what you, this is the ideal that's being promoted in terms of, if you do this, you're gonna develop some internal strength. And sec secondly, he's in what I call uh, level three, which is standing up high, and position two, which is feet neutral, not forward or back, mm -hmm. and not middle or low. He's in the ideal position for me to show how good I am with my skills, because he's, he, he's, he's not in any position, he knows this, to resist me. But this is what you see. You see people in general standing like this, and then the master's talking the way through, telling what to do, and then, uh, I, uh, there's one that I saw today, it was a little humorous, says, oh, I, you've gotta, you gotta gather the chi and your dantian, and then, and then they move. I mean, but I want to make it educational. So, but I also had to show to the, to the uh, doubters that I had a little bit. And I don't want to do it in a serious situation. So I'm, I'm creating this with the help of my acting friends. Uh, I, what I'm do, doing is setting up a stunt. Mm -hmm. I'm setting, setting up an antic. What else am I setting up? You had some other... Oh, parlor trick. Parlor, parlor trick. Parlor tricks. <laughs> but basically, that's, that's what you're doing. Because he's complicit, and he's doing what I say. And then I'm able to, sh to take advantage of him, because I'm, I could do whatever I want with my energies. So basically, if Alex, if I asked him to resist, this would be step two, to resist me, but he's still in a vulnerable position. He knows it, too. He knows if he wanted to push me, he wouldn't be standing the way he is. But he, he's a strong person, so I'm feeling some resistance. I'm going to let off now, okay? Because if I, if I just abruptly let off, he would have come forward, mm -hmm. right? So this is all part of the parlor trick. Okay, so here, uh, I'm just going to very gently, now this, this is what's being popularized now, is that you don't need to use brute force, that you can just do it gently. So I, I'm going to make sure I stay gentle, and I'm going to use my E, my intent, rather than my strength. Uh, he's already preparing, but there's just very, very little. It's just what, see, he's preparing, so I'm playing with him here. Yeah. Because, but if I just really wanted to just, kind of, you can see that I'm in a great yeah. stance, right? I just, and, and then and this is what we call dancing style. Yeah. Where, so hold on, okay? Stay solid. Stay solid. Stay solid. Okay. So, and and this is basically what a, a lot of the training consists of, is giving people this experience and convincing them that there's some developmental value to doing this day in and day out. Mm -hmm. When in my opinion, 
with as smart as this guy is, we do it once. He gets the point. Do you get the point? Get the point? Mm -hmm. And this is, this is in the Tai Chi world. This is where it's at. And I would say it's middle class because the higher standard is not known. And that's not the whole point, is that there's nothing wrong with doing this, but 180 videos mm -hmm. of, of learning this type of thing to get a certification, that, that's, that's my own that's, objection. Yeah. Okay. Very good.